BRICS currency explained? The BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is an acronym coined in 2001 to refer to the five major emerging economies of the world. These countries collectively represent almost half of the world's population and a significant share of global GDP. In recent years, there has been talk of the BRICS countries creating a common currency to facilitate trade and investment among themselves. A common currency among the BRICS nations could potentially provide several benefits, including reduced transaction costs and increased economic integration. However, creating a common currency also presents significant challenges, such as divergent economic policies and varying levels of economic development among the member countries. One of the main obstacles to creating a BRICS currency is the lack of a formal institutional framework that could facilitate monetary coordination among the member countries. Unlike the Eurozone, which has a central bank, the European Central Bank, and a fiscal authority, the European Commission, the BRICS countries do not have a similar institutional structure. As a result, the creation of a BRICS currency would require significant institutional reforms and coordination among the member countries. Another challenge to creating a BRICS currency is the significant economic disparities among the member countries. For example, China is the largest economy among the BRICS nations, with a GDP of over $14 trillion, while South Africa's economy is relatively small, with a GDP of just over $350 billion. This economic divergence could lead to conflicts over monetary policy and exchange rate management, as different countries may have different economic priorities and objectives. Despite these challenges, there have been some efforts to explore the possibility of a BRICS currency. For example, in 2010, China proposed the creation of a super-sovereign reserve currency that would be used as a global reserve currency and could potentially include the currencies of the BRICS nations. However, this proposal did not gain much traction, as other countries and institutions were hesitant to adopt a new reserve currency. Another proposal that has been discussed is the creation of a BRICS development bank, which could provide financing for infrastructure projects and other development initiatives among the member countries. This bank would be funded by contributions from the member countries and could potentially issue bonds denominated in a common currency. While this proposal does not involve the creation of a BRICS currency per se, it could be seen as a step toward greater monetary coordination and integration among the member countries. Thanks for watching. God Cooper bless you with fame and wealth.